Okay, so another beautiful day. We are doing another factoring method. This factoring method is called ABC trinomial. Trinomial. Think about trinomial when you hear the word tri, that means they have three terms. So check it out. We got, um, let me do an example. I have x squared minus 10x plus 24. This is a trinomial because they have three terms. And these three terms have nothing in common. X squared, this one have two X, this one only have one X, and this one have no X at all. So they are completely three different terms that have nothing in common that we can combine at all. Uh, so right here, we got A, B, and C. A being the number in front of X squared. How many X squared we have? We have one of them. So A right here equal one. B being the number in front of X, so it's gonna be negative 10. And C is a number by itself. So we got 24. Okay, now knowing this will help you with the rest of the assignment. So let's help me out and we're gonna go ahead and start together. So I have A equal one, B equal um, 12 for this example, and C is equal 35. Our goal is we find the pattern that we're gonna multiply to get the last, um, the last number here. So what are gonna be a factor of 35? That's going to be one and 35, we break it down. And then what else gonna give you 35? That's five and seven. We are going to always start by looking at C. C right here telling us that we are positive, the plus sign, that means add. When you add combining number, the sign going to be the same, it either plus plus or minus minus. In this case, you look at the option one and 35, five and seven, would one add to give you 12? And the only option that you're going to have is five and seven. So let's do that. So I'm going to have, x and x, I have a habit to always write the smaller number first. It's easier for me to see it that way. So I have five and seven. Now, we need to be positive 12. The sign right here telling us that we go into two with positive five and positive seven. Why? Five times seven give us 35, right? And then five plus seven also give us positive 12. So that is how we know that we did it correctly, okay? Now we're gonna go ahead and try with the example that we just did over here that going to give us uh, A equal one. Again, the number in front is one. This method is called ABC trinomial when A equal one. And then B equal uh, negative 10 and C is equal 24. Our goal is to look for, uh, break down the number 24. What could be a factor of 24? One and 24 always start with one and going up two and 12, three and um, three and eight, there you go, and four and six. We go into all way, look at C first, that's where they're telling us what to look, and C right here is plus, that means we are adding. When you add the signs on way the same, either plus plus or minus minus, because you combine same sign we add. Now, um, out of the option would one right here, add to give you 10, then the only one that add to give you 10 go into be four and six. So it's telling me what option to take. Um, that's telling me where to look. So I have x, x, always start right here. I put four, go first, and then six. It's easy for me to know that the smaller number go first. It's just organized that way. Now, but in here, four plus six give me 10, but I don't need 10, I need negative 10, meaning that we go into go with a negative couple this time, will be a negative four and negative six. Negative four time negative six give me positive 24, negative four plus negative six give me 10, and that is my answer, okay? So the conclusion for here, I would like for you to take a moment to write down the no. Conclusions is we always start looking at C, if C is positive, we go into all we go into add the number. And the sign always going to be the same because when you are the same sign, you, you add together, you combine together. So it's gonna be either plus plus or minus minus. Okay. Now we go into try with the net example down here, three and four. It vary the same way. I promise you you can do you you can do more than you think you are. So give it a try. A equal one, B equal eight, and C is called negative 20. It's like a puzzle, you know. Um, you play with the number and you break it down. What number are gonna give in us uh, 20? Um, that's going to be, always start with one, one and 20, two and 10, and what else? Mm, four and five. In this example, our C 
is going to be a subtraction. So when it is a subtraction, what does it mean? We are add or we subtract? We are subtract. When you subtract, it's going to give you a plus or a minus or minus and plus. The side going to be different when you subtract. So in here, I'm going to do the thingy again. So we got X and X. We're going to look at all the options. Which one subtract to give you A? So the only couple that subtract to give you A over here is going to be 2 and 10. And I'm going to put my number again. This is 2 and 10. Now, the sign going to be opposite, either plus, minus, or minus, plus. How do we know what one? So remember, you look at A. If I take, if I'm going to subtract 10 and 2, what sign going to be so I can stay on more positive, more positive A? The big number is going to have the same sign as this. It's going to be a plus, and it's going to be a minus. I'll do a quick check over here. Negative 2 times 10, yes, it's negative 20. Negative 2 plus 10, since I'm opposite, I'm technically take 10 minus 2, and that's going to give me 8. Um, 10 is a bigger number, so A stay the same at a positive. So that's how I know I did them correctly. Okay. Finally, say the best for last. We have A equal B equal C equal. A equal 1 again, B equal negative 5, and C equal negative 14. We're going to break down 14. It's going to give us 1 and 14, 2 and 7. Again, we're only going to look at C. That's the very first stop to look at. C right now is subtract. So it's telling me that I'm going to have opposite sign, either plus, minus, or minus, plus. So now, um, what option right here, subtract to give you five, that's going to be two and seven. And I'm going to write my, again, this is X, uh, and then this is another X. Mm. Let me do this on a more space. So I'm going to have X, and then I'm going to have X again. But I'm going to choose my option is two and seven. Now, in here, when I subtract them, the size is opposite, but I want, I need to be more negative this time because I have to be on negative five. So therefore, there's gonna be negative seven and this is plus two, just like that. And if you check, you will see two, Positive two times negative seven, gonna give you negative 14. But two minus seven, or two plus negative seven, it go into give you negative five, because I am more negative. So that go into be negative five, just like that. Really hope this makes sense to you. And if you practice more, you totally will be so much better. Um, say that that's what last, make sure you write out the Conclusion, so C E negative. When it negative, you go into subtract. And when you subtract, the side you go into the opposite side. It's gonna be different size, so plus, minus, or minus and plus. Okay. All right. I hope that it makes sense. And if you need help, the on way reach out. We are here for you. Take care.